Oh! The camera about fell off the desk. I was making faces and it just about fell off. Anyway, uh, I ran out of time in my last video. Imagine that. So I'm going to show you again. Uh, for those of you who did not see my public announcement video, please go watch it. It's an uh, interesting information that I have to share with you about people, things, and stuff. So, here is the standard uh, square bobbin VIC <clears throat> coil. This particular coil is for um, the regular tube cell resonant cavity. Okay? Um, I believe this was also used with the gas gun. Um, well, actually, it would be that. Well, yeah. No, the gas gun. The hydrogen gas gun is actually uh, for the hydrogen. It was a little bit before that one. The gas gun itself was for the ambient air. Confusing. Anyway, Stan's words are always confusing. So, back to this. Uh, this is the regular one for that resonant cavity. And this particular bobbin set um, is designed for the water fuel cell injector. Okay. Um, so what's the difference, what's going on, and what's going on? It's confusing, I know. Um, so basically, here's the bobbin set. This is the way it looks. It's very interesting. It's very interestingly wrapped, and overall it's interesting. Um, these dimensions you can find over at open-source-energy.org. Look on the VIC thread. There's about three of them going on right now. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, Dino Don, Don Gable is the one who drew these up. He actually drew these up February 2nd, 2009. He had possession of these and he measured them. Thank you, Don, for doing that. Um, so I decided to go ahead and build these. And some of you are going, why are you doing that, Russ? Well, two things. One, I want to learn something. I want to learn something about the VIC, and this is the way to do it. Build what he built, try it out, see what happens. Um, I've been doing a bunch of research on waveguides and all this stuff. And... Uh, this is uh, the water fuel injector is considered an electrical waveguide. Oh, that's bad. If I don't break it before I get to wrap it. Oh man, right on my concrete too. Oh crap. Y'all are laughing at me right now, I know. That's okay, leave me a comment. Um, anyway, so back to what I was trying to say before I ruined the edge of my coil. Um, I want to ask you guys some questions. I would really appreciate it if you go to the forums. I will put that a link. The first link in the description will be for the questions I have. Um, first of all, he used stainless steel FR. Got the bar, excuse me. Stainless steel 304 FR, or just F, depending on what you pick, um, type of wire for this. He also indicates he used 0 .002 gauge. Um, can't remember the information. I should probably pause this video and look it up. But I'm not going to. I'll post it in the description as well. He posts all this stuff in his uh, in his uh, uh, Birth of a New Technology book, which you can find on my website, rwgresearch.com. So he used uh, 0 .002 for some of the wire. He used 30 gauge for some of the wire. Or 0 .030 gauge. What does that mean? What does 0 .0030 um, or 0 .030 it's confusing. Look at it. The patents are always confusing, but uh, it's good references. Anyway, so use stainless steel. We do know that. Um, we've seen in the estate pictures that he actually used stainless steel wire. We have all the information on it. We could purchase it if we need to. Um, the other thing he used um, um, was an electrical steel core. I'm going to try to find a microwave transformer and take one apart and see if the core fits. The only thing different that I did was instead of drilling a, a square hole, or instead of having a square hole, I made a round one. I should still be able to get a three-quarter inch uh, piece of steel core in there. So, anyway, my questions to you guys are, um, I'll put the description, uh, information in the description and on the forums. Please leave the comments at the forums. But my questions are, what and how are the wire wrapped on here? Because it talks about spirally wrapped. It talks about... Um, uh, interwoven. It talks about all sorts of stuff. So which one's which? How's it supposed to go down? And how are we supposed to wrap this? Um, I have my own theories and ideas. I will post them on the forums instead of talking about them here. In case my mind changes, I can change it on the forum. Um, but overall, um, the way the inductors are wrapped on here, um, supposedly they're spirally wound, interwoven by filer. So that's pretty chaotic. But the way they're on here, um, basically, they had no polarity. They're wrapped one way, then the other way, and they really don't have a polarity. 
Um, in theory, they don't have a polarity because they're wrapped in both directions and tied together um, in opposite directions. So all you have is this giant EMF field collapsing on this um, inductor set. Um, he also does say that the second inductor is tuned. It's a tuned inductor. That's why he always has the wiper on there. And for those of you who don't understand that part of it, I think it's important for you to understand that he's got that wiper arm on there because it's supposed to be tuned. So in my in my head, I'm thinking, oh, Stan was saying, hey, look, you big dummy. Look what I have to say. Look how I'm doing it. And then try it for yourself and see what happens. So I will be attempting to build some sort of a variable inductor that I can use on this system to actually see probably this system, to actually see what changes and how and why. I want to understand it. If we don't understand it, we can't build it. Uh, I want to understand it. So anyway, the questions come back to, you know, how is this stuff wrapped? Um, um, what's really going on? What gauge wire should we use? And all the information in the patent you'll see is kind of interesting. There's two pages that describe this coil and how it's wrapped, how it's made, what kind of wire, everything. Um, he talks about resistive wire, which is just, you know, some sort of a wire that has a coating on it. It's resistive in wire. And he stated in one of his videos why he said resistive wire. He does that because in the patents, if you just say magnet wire and somebody else is, uses something else, then they can take your patent. So he just described it as, hey, it's resistive wire. How about that crap? But interestingly, he says magnet wire. He also says um, inductive or yeah, inductive wire or something like that. And he also says, uh, you know, the stainless steel wire. So interesting the way things are, are worded over there. I think it means something and I think we need to decipher it. I've already been studying this for a while now and have my own theories in my head and I'll post them over at the forums. That's it. I'm going to leave you guys go. This will be a short one, I hope. Um, I just want to say thank you to, to everyone who listened to my last video. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I find it important for everybody in this field to watch, even if you don't like me. Go watch it. Um, so, other than that, I hope you guys laughed at me. Kind of nutty sometimes. And uh, it's been a long week. And uh, my wife and children, they've been gone for a week, so I've been doing some experiments. As you can see in the background, yes, I wrapped wire all around that cell and induced an extremely high voltage across an arc gap. A carbon arc gap, to be exact. Didn't find much results, but I think I have to set it up differently. I think it needs to be DC, not AC. That was my issue, I think. Anyway, peace and love to you all. God bless. Take care. I'm out. I may not make a video for a while, and I will not be doing a live show for like two weeks. Please check the timer on the website for the next live show. It'll be like another week and a half or so. Okay? Thanks. Peace. Ah, you guys thought it was over, didn't you? I lied. I have one more important thing to say, and I'm going to say thank you to one individual right now. His name is Paul, and uh, Paul donated, donated the money that's actually going to purchase these cores. And he also, um, I used the same money, Paul, for the um, electronics, for the control circuitry for the BIC. He's working on it as well, so he wanted, uh, um, he wanted to donate some, some money to, to research, and he did. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone else. Blaine sent me that other power supply for the gas gun. Um, anyone who's donated lately or anybody in the past or anybody who's even put thought over at the forums. You don't have to donate money. Don't worry about that stuff. It's just, it's just there for the people who would like to do so. Everyone else who donated their thoughts, which is most important, thank you. Okay, now I'm gone. See you.